हेलो टू वन एंड ऑल सो वेलकम बैक टू द पावर बे प्रो टिप्स बाय तेजस इन द टुडेस वीडियो लेट अस सी हाउ टू क्रिएट अ स्टर्निंग पेज नेविगेशन इन अ पावर बे रिपोर्ट सो लेट अस गो अहेड एंड लॉन्च अ पावर बे डेस्कटॉप एंड ओपन अ पावर बे रिपोर्ट सो लेट अस सी व्हाट वी हैव गॉट इन अ पावर बे रिपोर्ट सो इन माय पावर बे रिपोर्ट आई बेसिकली हैव द फाइनेंशियल डेटा and the standard date table my financial data basically consist of the segment information the country information and the product information with respect to the various location and the discount brand unit sold manufacturing price sales price gross sales discounts cogs profit and so on the segment information basically include channel partners enterprise government mid market and small business and have five different countries they happen to be canada france germany mexico and usa we also have various products with respect to location say if i select canada i have the following products with respect to canada and similarly with respect to other location so let us go ahead to the report view and let us see what we have got so i have basically created five different tabs one is the canada tab and france tab germany tab mexico tab and usa tab the canada tab basically consist of the top 10 sales information by canada products and the top 10 profits information by canada products that is the top 3 canada products the top 5 canada products the top 7 canada products and top 10 canada products hence forth i have got the same for france as well see okay so now let's go ahead and build an insane stunning page navigation so in order to do that i basically have three simple steps the first step is to go ahead and create a table let's go to home and click on enter data after doing so let us name the table as navigation let us name i will name my column 1 as report navigation and my elements would be the page names of a report that is the corresponding tab names of a report just make sure that we are not making any typo error so my first tab is canada and my second tab is france and my third tab is germany my fourth tab is mexico and my fifth tab is usa so this will be my step 1 so let's go ahead and load this table our table name is navigation let me drag a report navigation column over here let us convert this into slicer let me convert this slicer into a drop down slicer after doing so let me go ahead and convert this selection as let me enable the single select and let me also remove the slice the headers over here and let me go ahead and give the title as page navigation the font would be the cgsmi bold that be 
looks better. Let us also increase our value size. Let's go to the visual and values. Let's make it as 14. Yeah, looks much better. So let me now get a customized button. So let me go and navigate to insert, insert image. Let us select the go icon and place it over here. And let me enable the button action as page navigation. Let me click on the destination as the condition formatting. Let me enable that and let us go ahead to our table that we have created just now that is the navigation to report navigation and the summarization would be first by default. Let us keep it keep that as it is and click on OK. that's it and now let us select any other country let me click on Germany and now if I click on go we will be able to navigate to the corresponding tab since I have selected Germany over here in the Canada tab I was able to navigate to Germany so let me go ahead and copy these two elements to all my tabs Copy, let me paste in France. Make sure that you click on Don't Sync over here. Similarly, for Germany tab, let me copy this element. Let me copy that in France tab. Let me go to France tab and let me paste it over here. Let me select this top down slicer and go to Germany tab and paste it over here. Make sure that you don't sync. Similarly, for Mexico and USA as well. Don't sync. Copy this. Go to USA tab and let me paste it. Make sure that you keep it don't sync. That's a bit important make sure that you keep it on sync similarly let us copy the buttons and keep it in in rest of the tabs as well let's go ahead and copy this and go to mexico tab and then paste it over here similarly copy this again and let us go to our last tab usa and let us paste it here and that's it we are done so if you go to Canada let me make the selection as France boom that's it and since we are in France let me select Germany okay let me click on go Mexico, let me select Germany and let me click on go, we will go to Germany tab. So now I am under Germany tab, let me make a selection to USA. That's it, go, we are done. So just by three simple steps, it was so insane and stunning through which we were able to navigate through all the tabs in the dashboard. So this is how you make the best use of the page navigation in a Power BI report. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Stay tuned for the further updates. Make sure that you like the video and you subscribe to the channel. So happy analyzing guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Please do watch the entire video and stay tuned for the further updates. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.